girl so 2020 has been hitting us left and right with the one-two punch i mean it's only march 15th and it has been so much going on with the world and everything that's going on around us and i just want to engulf myself in my makeup room so around myself with all of my makeup just to do makeup looks with some of the palettes that i have because to be completely honest i don't want to go into a sephora or ulta or even order anything online i just want to use what i have and just create makeup looks with some of the palettes that I haven't used in a quite a while or maybe uh, some of the palettes that I have used recently and just you know have some makeup therapy makeup is one of the reasons why I decided to do my YouTube channel um, I had some issues in my past where I was very um, self-conscious and had low self-esteem so makeup was therapy for me it made me feel pretty it made me feel feel beautiful and let's be clear i come on camera before makeup so i am not one of those people that feel like i'm not beautiful without makeup i go without makeup a lot of the time the only time that you would see me in makeup is when i'm doing a video or on instagram things like that for my for content purposes and if I'm going out then I'll probably keep the makeup on but I know I am not ugly without makeup I am very confident in myself it took me quite a while to get there but if you are like myself if you are so over what's been going on in the world everyone is concerned about catching a virus it being quarantined and things like that and if you want to escape from all of that drama then definitely click on this video if you want to see how i created this look keep watching <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki, known here as the One-Handed Bandit. If this is your first time watching, hello and welcome. And I don't know what I'm going to entitle this video. It's just, it's just so much going on today. Just so much going on this week in the world. And I just wanted some makeup therapy. I'm sure you all could use some makeup therapy. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. And I also uh, primed my eyes with the P. Louise base in Rumor 2. And today I'm just going to be diving into the Jackie Ina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not exactly sure what I want to do, but I know I'm going to start with edges and uh, credit. And maybe do a red, maybe use a Wigglies. I don't know let's just see so I'm starting out with using this shade here which is called edges and I'm almost ready to hit pan on that shade because I use it so much so I'm just going to add it's a really nice brick red It's more like a mixture of red and brown. So now that I have the shadow place where I want it, I'm just going to just start blending upwards. I started to try to record a video yesterday and it seemed like as soon as I turned the camera on my neighbors were outside and they were being very very loud and I just got really frustrated and just turned my camera off. I did still do a look but I didn't record it and that is the issues with 
living in this type of community where your neighbors are so close. See, it, it always happens. It's like they smell when the camera is on. I think I'll go back and blend that a little more, but I would just want to lay down my base colors. And next I'm going in with the chocolate brown shade, which is called Credit right here. And next I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Wiggleese, and I'm just going to add that to my lid. that I haven't been doing lately is lining my lash line or pretty much doing a wing liner. I have just been, you know, just adding a line just so that it can blend with my falsies, but I just haven't been in the mood for a wing liner lately. And I kind of like the nice clean look that that line just gives. The wing liner, it seems to add like an extra boldness to the look. And sometimes that's not what I want. I'm just going to take this. It's kind of like a pencil brush, but it's like a detail brush. This is... um. This is a drawing shadow brush. This is a Sephora number 41 brush. And I'm just going to go into where I had credit and I'm just going to blend it out. And this gets really into my crease. It gives that crease a nice detail. I'm just going to continue blending and I'm going to pop on some lashes and come back back with the rest of my face. So I popped on some lashes and I just did a line on my lash line. I didn't do a wing liner because like I just mentioned, I don't, I don't know, I, there's something going on where I just don't want to do wing liners lately. And I have primed my face with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I'm going out, so it is kind of sunny out, so I do need some protection from the sun. And I've just been trying to add this every day when I know I'm going out. Normally, if I'm just recording a video for YouTube, I won't use this. But if I know I'm definitely going out, I will add this to my routine. And for foundation, I will be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. And I am in the shade Medium Deep 24. I like this foundation because it's, it's very light. It isn't a very thick or heavy foundation. And you can build this foundation up quite a bit. I just haven't tried to do more than one layer. One layer pretty much does the job for me.
And I just hope you all are prepared for the up upcoming weeks. Us content creators will be pumping out quite a few videos for you all just to keep you all occupied. Just in case you are quarantined. I hope no one is quarantined. Because, you know, if you are quarantined, that means that you do have the virus. And I don't wish that on anyone. But, you know, with everything shutting down and, you know, schools closing, jobs closing. If you are in the house, you can just, you know watch some good content some get some good makeup therapy so just blending that out and this is a bh cosmetics brush this is the marble luxe collection and this is the foundation brush from that collection and i normally don't add foundation to my under eye but I've just been doing it the past few days and I do like the way that my makeup has been coming out. So just trying new techniques, you know, with us having so much time on our hands lately. I'm just going to be trying different things. Let me just zoom you in just a little bit. So I have been kind of in a makeup funk ever since the Pat McGrath concealer I haven't really purchased anything and you know I'm really been looking for something just something different something new that's on the market that isn't you know I just I'm so tired of nude palettes I'm tired of concealers I'm tired of foundations if I can get another transfer proof foundation I do have the Lancome Taunt Idol foundation and that is a uh, pretty nice um I wouldn't say it's transfer proof but I think it all depends on how you set it and I just been playing around with different ways to set it just to see how I like it and I just haven't found my my products that work in conjunction with the foundation if that makes any sense but it's a really good foundation I do like the finish and I do love the coverage and the feel of it and see that Pat McGrath foundation all you need is just a few pumps and it looks amazing to me and for concealer I'm using the makeup revolution concealer I'm using the shade C12 I'm almost done with this concealer I haven't been into Ulta in so long my focus has been really into what's new in Sephora but I really need to go to Ulta to stock up on some of my drugstore goodies for instance my black radiance contour palette um this concealer what else i think that is it but i also want to get some new drugstore products as well i know elf has some new products and i just want to maybe do a drugstore video as well so i like to dry down my concealer just a little bit because it gives me more of a fuller coverage because i have dark under eyes and it helps conceal that darkness so i'm just going to use my hand fan and just dry that down a little bit i'm just going to take my concealer brush and just to blend that out dry it down it just gives a much fuller coverage if I would have just went right in I probably would have had to go in with another layer of concealer and this just helps save product especially if you're a girl like myself where you know money is an object and you're just trying to get the most bang for your buck this is a good tip 
is to dry down that concealer or if you have something to do around the house just go and do that and then come back and blend out your concealer and see it just adds a little bit of brightness not too bright and I'm just gonna blend out the edges and then I'm also going to add a little bit down the bridge of my nose. going to set my under eye actually I'm going to set my entire face with this Urban Decay all nighter setting powder it is a translucent powder and don't be alarmed with the shade because it is translucent but I've been liking the way that it has been setting my under eye so I just want to try it today with setting all over my face and I'm just going to tap in It makes your makeup waterproof because this is waterproof and my allergies have been acting up and my eyes have been tearing so this is a really good thing for me to do to set my face so that once these eyes start tearing my makeup doesn't run off of my face And I forgot to add some concealer to my forehead. I normally don't do this, but I have been liking the look lately. Not too much. And I'll let that set while I blend out the rest of my makeup. So still setting with the Urban Decay. I'm just going to blend out that concealer. I think it's set enough. See, not too much. And then I'll go back in with my foundation brush just to blend the edges. And then set all over my forehead with that powder. And that'll take most of that shine away, if not all of it. I'm just going to bronze with my Sephora Pro Deep Face Palette. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this shade here and bronze up my skin. I love about this palette it is that it handles uh three of your uh makeup routine so it has the your bronzer your highlight and your blush so i'm not going to do any blush today but i am going to highlight with this shade right here which is called la and i'm just going to add that to my cheekbones do my hair and then I'll come back and do a lip color I'm going to take the color Soleil from the Jackie Ina palette and I'm just going to add that to my inner tear duct it's this color right here I'm 
Just going to dust off that same brush and I'm going to take the shade Pinker and I'm going to add that to my lower lash line. For lips, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath lip liner, and this is in the shade Ground Control. I'm going to take this pink nudie shade, which is from MLN Beauty, and this is by Tiffany Violet. Her name is uh, Tiffany Violet with one F on Instagram, and her... Uh, and her website is tiffanyvioletbeauty.com and this is her lip gloss in the shade Facetune and I'm just going to add that. nice nude shade but if you are like myself who have pigmented lips you do need a brown lip liner but if you have a uh, pretty nice pink lips then you don't necessarily need a lip liner with this but again this is by MLN Beauty and this is in the shade Facetune. I'm going to set with my Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray. This is a really good, amazing setting spray if you are a dry skin girl like myself or if you just don't like a matte makeup look, this de definitely adds some hydration to your skin. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and be sure to click that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thank you so much for all of the support and I will see you in my next video.